Meow. <sighs> Tired buddy. To moving my keyboard. Yes. Hello. So, it is like exactly 10 p.m., which means that I work in exactly 24 hours. I'll start my first of three shifts this week. Well, next week, because it's still Sunday, technically, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I work. <coughs> I actually just woke up because I had to help my brother move a bunch of stuff. Basically, he'd had a friend live in his apartment. Like he was helping out a friend. She had like financial problems and kids and, and like had nowhere to stay. So he helped out, right? So she could find a new place. She ended up staying there for like over two years. Uh, but finally has moved out. So I like helped move a bunch of stuff and I messed up my body, man. I'm like sore now, but it's not too bad. But I was expecting it to take an hour, two hours. It took four hours of just heavy lifting. And oh man, I gotta work tomorrow, you know? But I should recover. I slept like five hours now, and then I should be able to sleep in time because I didn't sleep as much as Dane. Who asked? Sorry. My point of telling that I work tomorrow is that that's why I'm playing this now whoa um I should have made such a better intro I feel bad now hi guys welcome to Burnhouse Lane this is probably the ending I don't know um but I assume so. I won't be able to record. I probably won't make videos the next three days, which is why I really wanted to get this done now. Because I don't want to wait. I want to play this. That's That was my only point. I'd, whatever, let's play, man. Looks like he brought his chair up here to be near, in case I needed something. He's even got a torch in his lap. Flashlight, yeah. For doing night checks. But it looks like he fell asleep. Bless him. Honestly, bless him. He's got his eyes open, it looks like, but whatever. I don't want to talk to him like he's asleep, you know. Can we still not see in here? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm like going through all this. I probably have to go to the basement or something. I actually don't know. There's no goal. Ah, uh, before we do that. That's a Christmas tree. This is what George and Kieran have been up to while I was out <coughs> of it. It's a bit shit, but it's still way better than I'd expected from those two. It's cute. What do you mean? Snow. No one 
some snows. Yeah. That's fair. I was gonna kinda go look and see what's up with the whole horse situation. The door is open. Clutters block an access to the rest of the basement. Uh, it's pitch black inside. Jenny? Are you in there? Nothing but silence. <coughs> but I think I could smell a perfume in the air. What did you do to open that door? Nitrogen. Are we making... Glass? All this stuff, this must be some sort of lab. You know, uh, payday style. Uh, fur furiatic acid. Na furia Periodic acid and uh, nitrogen gas and hydrogen chloride. Make the blue stuff, which is not blue. What a huge place, what the heck? What a shitty flashlight. <gasps> You're lucky I didn't kill you. I was kind of expecting it, so but whatever, you got me. You got me. Damn girl! You should have seen your face. You went all, <laughs> ah! and then you did the... Are you done? And anyway, what are you lurking in the dark like that for? Well, I finally opened the door, and let me just tell you, that fucker took some serious beating. But then, I couldn't put the lights on. I uh, mean, I found a switch, and I flipped it, but it did fuck all. And then, five minutes later, I saw you come in with your flashlight. Great timing, Angie. As usual. No light, huh? Clearly there's no power here. Let's see if we can fix that. Lead on then, light bearer. I will be right behind you. Fuck you. That's all. A generator. Bags of rubbish. It's a generator, but how do I make it work? Turn it on. Ah shit, something's not right with this generator. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay, uh, it uh, looks like you can. Fix. Do you know how to fix generators? No. Just hold E. Well, I think it's all about connecting ignition wires to correct spark plugs. I literally have no idea what any of that means. Just shut up and let me think. It can't be that hard. Oh, man. Ouch! You okay? Are we really DBDing this? Come on, man. Something. Keep going, girl. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That's it. Just a little bit more. Oh, what's the matter with you? 
eat my ass. Like right now, do it. Gardens Come all on. around right. up against the wall. Right, there's something else you said. Someone sure does a lot of gardening here. They're too heavy. But that's okay, what would I do with that soil anyway? I'm sure we'll find a purpose. Some sort of chemical sprayer. I don't think I'll need it. Cannabis plants. They've been left without light and water for a long time, so they're not looking too healthy right now. Is that all you needed? You've been acting all crazy for a little bit of... Come on, man. Hello. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You don't know. Of course you don't. Five years working my ass off on this stinking stupid farm and you won't even mention my name, will you? Typical. Well, I'm Angie. I'm Angie. George's carer. Oh, yes. The agency nurse. You guys are the worst. And who's a skinny bitch behind you? It's Jenny Wilde. Angie, what the fuck? The actress? Oh, no, no. Uh, same name. Just a coincidence. <laughs> you are her. I might be crippled, but I'm not blind. Fucking hell. You got any more celebs hiding in there? Mariah Carey? George Clooney? No. Oh, should I check? It's just the two of us. Can we go now? Please? <sighs> Not really, no. I'm guessing you were George's regular carer? Joyce, is that right? Well, I sure as hell ain't Cinderella, darling. You did such a great job looking after George all these years. He's very fond of you. I doubt it. You're not really the kind of person who'd murder two innocent people in cold blood like this, why are you? No, you're right. I'm a cook. I'd rather not have blood on my hands if I can avoid it. So I'll just call the boys. The boys? They'll know what to do. Now, get in there, and remember, I don't want to do it, but I'll shoot you if you leave me no choice. Enjoy your stay. You guys are so hey, can we at least get high while we wait for the boys? Oh. Got any bright ideas? Not yet. But in my experience, the best ideas are often the simplest ones. I did not expect more plot. Oh, fucking generator. Yeah, the one you left us boys. with. I'll fucking deal with it myself. forgot about the stairs. Jenny? What an amazing flashlight. Are we really doing this again? 
Why am I sad about that? That's fine. I better keep it on for now. Why? Well, you do you. Gonna burn up. We're about to dash through you. I'm not deagling you. I'm not scared of them anymore. <coughs> Damn right you're not. Are we not? Should I not dash? No need to dash. Not scared of you. Badass mode activated. I think I could climb up there. But why? What is that in there? Fine, we'll climb up here. Let's find out what the fuck. There's a ladder? Well, maybe not a ladder, but... Okay, I guess we'll come back here. We drive I we drive Long one. It's like come. That's very impressive shooting. You're big. I guess we are scared of a big one, huh? Get me up here. Oh, you, you, that could have hit me. Maybe couldn't have, like, like, actually, literally, maybe it could. What? What if I wait? No, okay. What the fuck's going on? Oh, this guy's dead. Omar. You were one hell of a weirdo. But I kinda liked you. Tell me about it. You just couldn't escape your destiny, could you? Taking that. Okay. In the window down there. Oh, it's like a TV. Holy shit, it showed like somebody doing something and then disappearing. I'm like, what the? Is it gonna turn off? TV turn off? No electricity? No, no, yeah, no, no. We can go in here. Oh, cool. Shinji. Soak it all in. Meow meow. Oh, Angie. You should have run while you could. I really hoped you wouldn't see the end of Burnhouse Lane. This last house. This smoldering fortress of death itself. 
It will be your grave. You're hurt. What happened to you? I tried to catch a little spider. To leave him as a present on your doorstep. But he was quick. He stung me. Poisoned me. Now I'm dying. Sorry. I really hoped I could spare you that one last fight. Why would you do all that for me? Why would you do all that for me? Does every act of kindness need a reason? I simply chose you, Angie, to love and protect. But why? There's nothing special about me. I'm not that brave or kind. I don't have a great sense of humor, the looks, or the wits. I'm not even a very good nurse, feeding poor George sandwiches every day and hardly caring for him at all. Don't you think there's someone more worthy out there, waiting for an opportunity like this? I've never been a perfect cat, either. Fussing over food, sharpening my claws on things I shouldn't be touching, but none of that matters, Angie. It's something you people often forget about. True love is unconditional. And if I could, I'd take that magic cigarette out of your pocket and smoke it myself. But alas, cats can't smoke. You've been a good friend. Thank you. All of this would have been a lot harder without you. I couldn't really save you from the horrors of Burnhouse Lane, but I think I gave you a good enough reason to go on, didn't I? You did make me do some crazy shit, if that's what you mean. And here you are, standing tall, ready for your final fight. Is there anything I can do? For me, no. But you can still save yourself. You went through hell to complete your tasks. You earned your prize. You found the box and the cigarette. So, use it. Don't let it go to waste. Keep on living. Isn't that what you wanted? Uh, it feels wrong to sacrifice someone's life to save mine. Yeah, that's... Uh... Okay, my... Recording software suddenly said, Boom! And it's like an error recording. And I was like, no, you did not mess up another recording now. It's been blue screens and now it's this. I've never had that issue, but it saved my video. It ended with me saying, yeah, it's right. I think what I was saying was, and I don't think I said it in the recording before it Stop the record. Thank you for allowing me to say exactly what I was thinking. Because I could imagine in a game like this that I can be like, I don't think I can do this, dude. I'm just waiting for the right moment, dude. But like, no, I, I let it. The re I, I don't want to do it because I'm sacrificing somebody else's life just to save mine. That feels wrong. Literally what it says. It feels wrong to sacrifice someone's life to save mine. Give it to someone evil. Yeah, that's a good call. What right do I have to make such judgments? Then maybe someone old who's already at death's door. You cats really don't get us sometimes, do you? I kind of 
I, I kind of think that am I going to be given a choice? Can I like let the, the evil lady smoke it? That don't really make sense to I don't think. And I thought about doing it to George. But that feels so wrong too. So here's the thing. I'm, I'm still trying to th think about... Think about... If I do another playthrough, there's no reason for me to showing the whole game again, because I, I think 90% of it is going to be the same, right? But there are moments, especially the ending, that could be very different. I know I'm going to want to go back and try to save Arno. And I'll show that in the video. But now I'm thinking maybe I can just try both endings right now. Or like make an extra video in a few days with the other ending. Instead of having to play the whole game again I, I, I don't know goodbye cat I'll see you on the other side It does actually have bullets. And now we got even more. Great. Wasted a bullet. Jesus. Come on. I hope I don't need the full ten bullets. I do, don't I? kidding me man and you can't keep shooting it you have to wait for the animation of it getting shot in order to shoot it again and you have to hit all 20 bullets I don't know but let's try again I think there's bullets here too I see Oopsie doopsie. What? There you go, thank you. I love it. Am I 
I supposed to run past you while you're... I don't think you're gonna die, are you? Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to run past it. I think I'm supposed to shoot it back and follow it and keep making it go back further and further and further. So I just wasted all that time shooting it with like 20 something, 30 bullets. So that was amazing going through that. Uh, good thing spiders can't climb walls, right? What does it do? Uh, thought I was gonna fucking electrify you. I don't think jumping down on him is a good idea. Let's find a way around. Fine. We'll find a way around. music playing somewhere but where are we good I'm not scared of you okay okay that's at it again <laughs> so that's a gross joke This black liquid is pouring from the pipe above. <laughs> it smells like gasoline. I'll take it. Is this the last time, Angie? I don't think so. I don't think. I think we get at least one more save. There's a dirty, torn up jumper inside the furnace. It reminds me of the one that girl in the apartment building was wearing. Can't even remember her name. Perhaps she'd never told me. Because we already know it. used to wrap around the axe. Why? I see. Hmm. Being of use. Once again, Mitzi. The spiders frighten me now. Am I 
killing you? Like, hello? Why don't I make a fucking makeshift torch? Surely you will fucking die. You know what, it might not actually. I might have to light this somehow. Yeah, like, no, no, yeah, mm, eh. There you go. It's drenched in oil. What if I killed you before? I can feel the flames burning as deep as my heart. The fuck does that mean? I guess another one just spawns. It's good to know. Now is the last chance to save your progress before the finale. Wow. Like I said. But also, this is the last saving place. I was hoping... And that's just me. I was hoping for a really beautiful view, a really like some beautiful place where you were having your last smoke before this all goes down. And and, and and it could be like, this is it, this is the last smoke, instead of this. It's not a great place to do it, is it? But then again, you are dying, so it's... Symbolic, and you are smoking, which is... Stop it. Don't do it. I don't feel scared or angry. I don't feel anything at all. I've faced my biggest fears and I've conquered them all. What else is there to be afraid of? I'm ready. you hard, bro. Guess you got the door open. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Jesus, my fingers pressing like all kinds of weird buttons I for a second I forgot how to how to play games <laughs> I'm crazy George I I I I, I, I can't I can't do that but also I want to see the ending where like I give it to someone, but let's just do what I kind of want to do now, and let's see how things go. Hey, look who's up. 
You gotta try this shit, Angie. Um, what? This stuff is amazing. No wonder that pervy old vicar wanted it so badly. What's going on? Are we all friends now? Oh, right. You were unconscious, I think, when Joyce fell down the stairs. You'd never guess what happened. It turned out the door to our cell was super shit. I gave it a kick and bang, it just opened. I helped Joyce up, we talked, and then we just, how do you guys say it? Um, we got on like a house on fire. <laughs> Does that mean we're free to go? It's not my call. The boys will decide. But to be honest, I really don't like the look of you, Missy. You'll call the cops first chance you get, won't you? No, I won't. Ask Jenny. She knows I can be trusted. Yeah? What do you reckon, Jenny? Is Nurse Angie a blabbermouth? I think, um... I don't want to say it, but... Yeah. She'll tell everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Nurse Angie is as fun as a dry mop. All right, darling. All right, boys. I see. We have rats in the lab. The blonde one's cool. She's not gonna... A rat? is a rat. So let me deal with this, yeah? Yeah, sure. You. You like our product? I... I can see it all over your face. Was it good? You enjoy it? Uh, yes sir. Course you did! It's the best! But it's expensive stuff. Very expensive. Especially when dirty fucking rats stick their dirty fucking noses into it. You know what I mean? Here's what we'll do. We'll keep the blonde for now. She kind of reminds me of someone. I want to try something on. Come on, mate. You promised you wouldn't do any of that. Let's get rid of the grumpy face first. You there, behind. Come forward. I don't have a choice. I was gonna pull out my deagle. Take her to the garden, Johnny. Really? What is your problem now? It's freezing out there. Can't we just do it here and be done with it? Johnny. We do it here. We're gonna have blood all over the equipment. And we don't need that shit right now, do we? Come on, off you go. Let's get this done before the old man wakes up. Fine. Put your hands up so I can see them. Good. No go. Move it! Still not me, don't have a choice. Go on, you know where the garden is. It's this way. It's this way. Oh, where's my gun? Gloves. Cat. Unavailable. Don't try running, yeah? Rat. Running. Running. I'm running. What are you gonna do, huh? We gonna do Nexu look alike? Not really, but no, not really. 
What do I got? Nothing, then. That's enough. You can stop. Don't turn around. And no funny business. So, um... Do you have any last wishes or something? I mean, if you are a scumbag shit cunt, I, can't, I think you probably just deserve to... You know, you're about to kill me. So why not I just kill you? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I'm not against it. Yeah, put down the gun and let me go. Uh, I'm sorry, you heard Uncle D. Got to kill all the rats. That's what we do. I'd like to have one last cigarette. Oh, come on. We don't have time for that. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to do both. Okay. What do we want to see first? Why did you ask then? I, I don't know. Uncle D always asks them. You're an idiot, aren't you? Hey, hey, hey! I was just trying to be nice. Won't make that mistake again. Then just fucking shoot me. See if I care. You went for the back, man, for the spine. You could have uh, gone for the head at least. Damn. Go on. You know where the garden is. Are we. Really? Don't try running, yeah? I'm running. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told you not to run. Yeah, well. I'm a bad listener. Go on. You know where the garden is. Is this way? Is this way? Oh. I'm out of here. Don't try running, yeah? No running. I think no matter how many times That's you enough. shoot me, you can stop. I don't have a choice. Don't turn around. And no funny business. So, um, do you have? I like. Oh come on! We don't have time for that. Do you smoke? Here, have one with me. We've smoked a whole pack on the way here. But... Ah, fuck it. Just one more won't hurt, eh? So now I get the choice? buddy wow that bastard was gonna shoot me lucky for me he was not the sharpest tool in the shed 
Okay, I actually had a way around it. Did enough for the damn cigarette. Can I go to Kieran? Why? Go to Kieran, he has like 500 guns. You can give you fucking M16. An AK-47, something, man. You get you fucking... I'd rather not shoot a gun in George's house. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I won't need to use it at all. Doubt it. Uh, I hope so. Actually, if you say so, then... Probably it's true. Can we... Yeah. Let's finish this then. <laughs> Come on, guys, where you at? Walking slowly to make this more cinematic, but I, I didn't know you guys were gonna be all the way at the end. I'll run. Oh, right in the. An actress, eh? You care about your looks, don't you? I'll bet you do. Well, how about we take them away? A bit of uh, sulfuric acid should do the job. What do you reckon, Joyce? I'm gonna turn her into a fucking zombie. Mate, that's a bit much. I did not sign up for this kind of shit. You caused this shit! You've been careless and left the lab open for everyone to see. Yes, but I said, come on. That's really fucked up, innit? Can't we just give her a slap and let her go? She won't tell. It would ruin her if she did. You're pissing me off, Joyce. You really are. You think you have a say in this, because you know how to cook this shit. Well, you're wrong. It won't take me long to train someone else. So fuck off upstairs if you really don't want to look. I'd prefer that, to be fair. Your ugly mouth puts me off every time I catch sight of it. Don't leave me, Joyce. You won't. Oh, will you just shut the... Lord. Arsehole. Nice job. You're alive? Yeah, sort of. Where's Johnny? Johnny's... Well, he's incapacitated. Sleeping in the garden, but it won't last long. Like, literally, people don't get oh, knocked out for that long. He'll run away when he wakes up, the little coward that he is. I don't think we'll ever see him again. Why did you help us? Let's just say, I've had a change of heart. Can you walk, Jenny? I, uh... I think he broke my ribs with that kick. We'll give you a hand. Grab her, nurse, and do it fast. Let's get the fuck out of here before this bald fucker wakes up. Which, again, when people get knocked out, they usually get up quite instantly, and if they don't, uh, he's gonna have uh, brain damage or die. Right? Isn't that the whole thing? I've asked to really hurt her. She won't be able to walk on her own. Put your gloves on to touch this dirty bitch. Come on. Uh, fine. Or maybe... <coughs> maybe get some soil and uh, put that on her and laugh. Huh? 
Oh my. Jesus. I'll fucking kill you all! Trojan is gonna go fsh and then it goes boom boom. Does it? I don't know. Shut that door, nurse. Let's trap the bastard in there. Now block it! He can rot to death in that lab for all I care. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was it. missing. I was missing a millimeter. Now, aren't we? I'd say so. I know this lab like the back of my hand. There is no other way out. He can survive in there for a while, but... Oh, I guess you really do the know end, the lab. he'll just starve to death. So... We basically murdered him. What we'll called the cops on him? What the fuck? Oh, well. I'm not gonna miss him. Are you? Speaking of murder... I could really murder a nice cup of tea right now. So it's agreed. No ill feelings, no regrets. We'll simply never talk about any of this to anyone. Totally. I want to leave it all behind me as soon as possible. Oh, I keep wondering, you know, why the hell do all those assholes always pick on me? I'm so fucking sick of it. Clearly the universe is trying to tell you something. Yeah, stop taking drugs with strangers. Well, fuck, universe. Doesn't know what it's like to be me. And what's so hard about being you? Is the bed made of diamonds a bit too hard for your back? Fuck off, Angie. Just... Fuck off. I've gotta be honest. I'm really not gonna miss you when I leave this place. Hmm. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No need. I don't think I'll miss you either. <laughs> was that ever... Was that something I could have helped? Because I've done everything to be nice to you, right? You're just a bitch the whole way, basically. Almost. Entirely. Sorry for saving your life, you dumb cunt. Never mind. I'm going outside for a smoke. Put your coat on. It's cold tonight. And you have this cough. That's because I'm... Oh. Doesn't matter. See you later.
nice place to die, huh? Die a Viking's death. Well, that's not really how they die, is it? It's just how they're buried. Anyway. Into the fog. Or light. Or so. Wow, this really shows how dirty my screen is. Jewether died on Sunday, 22nd of February. Cheers, Bird, and St. Michael Churchyard in Huntington, not far from the farm where she'd spent the last weeks of her life. So I'll click. George visits her often to this day. Despite his age, he feels well and remembers her fondly. I can love you, George. A few months later, Kieran's life took a wild turn for the better. He met Treza, an affair, and they fell in love. <laughs> she loves guns, I take it. She was a step dancer from New Quay. And like him, a mad gun enthusiast. They had a small summer wedding and to this day lived together on the farm. Jenny returned to LA just before Christmas. Well, good for you, bitch. I'm so happy for you. She dove straight back into her old life and forgot all about Angie and the farm. Is that, you You make it sound like that's a thing. Like, I, what the fuck would I have done differently to make her like me? I didn't, I never picked the bitchy options, you know? I was a friend to her. I said I needed a friend. She needed a friend. We could be friends. Hey, we're cool. Anyway, whatever, man. Fuck you, Jenny. In the years that follow, she married and divorced twice and starred in three great movies and five terrible ones. Sure, didn't ask. She got clean from drugs for a while, but never managed to shake off her addiction for good. She died on an overdose. It followed her for years like an evil spirit, growing in strength, bringing her closer and closer to destruction. Until she finally overdosed. The tabloids wrote about her death, and it became the hottest topic in the world. <laughs> for a week. Then everyone forgot about her. George often wishes things turned out differently. He's certain something could have been done to prevent this. Sometimes he wakes up at night thinking he knows what it is, but those thoughts vanish as quickly as they come. Deep down he knows it was Angie's battle to fight, not his. He's glad that in the end she had accepted her fate and welcomed it without fear. But he misses her all the same. You 
motherfucker. George and Kieran. When you go in the wave, stop hitting the sand, stop slipping from under your feet. Where will you hide when the waters subside? Will you get no Davy Cadaver? How fitting. I don't think they said the name of the song yet, did it? But I think, is this Ben and Alfie? Or Alfie and Ben, or whatever the name? They had a song in The Cat Lady I really liked. Ben and Alfie, there it is. Bye. Under the skin. Tony 2000. Warmer. Hell yeah. Cadaver, the voice of the cat, made these horrible paintings, huh? <laughs> you know, when I say horrible, they're obviously impressive, right? But they're... <laughs> you get me. Motherfucking Harvester Games. Alright, thank you guys for watching, um, I, hmm, I'm not sure, I'm still considering ideas, I think what I've landed on is that I will replay the game at the very least to save Arno. Because the whole ending will be different with him alive. Um, most of the game I'll replay without showing anything. I'll show the part where... 
I save Arno though, I guess I'll make a bonus video. That might be in a while though. Um I, I wanna um, I'm thinking too much. I don't need to bother you guys with all my thoughts. Uh, I'll figure that out. I'm thinking I'll do a video where I show all the different endings. And I can actually do this ending again. Because at that point, Arno will be alive and that might change things. It might also not. And then I'll just not show it. I'm also thinking while I replay the game, I can try to see if there's anything different I can do. with Jenny to change the outcome between us if I can actually make her a friend I'd like to believe that I can being that I'm a nice guy I would like to believe I mostly pick the good options with her but I'm sure the game wants me to I don't know. I don't know what the game wants. I'll just have to look at the options when I replay and try to pick some of the things I didn't when there are chances to do that. Right? I don't know. And that's about it. That's. And then I'll get to the endings again. And I'll try all of them. And I'll make a video that shows all the endings. Which I could do right now. But I kind of want to save Arno. And see if maybe I can change. Angie. The, you know. It feels like a whole reveal at the end where she's like, I, I don't really care for you. I don't like you. I don't know if that's supposed to be. If it's just a surprising moment. It's like a plot twist, but not really. Where it's like, oh, she never liked me. Or if it's more like, here's the result of your playthrough. Angie, I don't like you. You know, and you could have had... Angie, I do like you. You're a friend. I, I don't know. But we'll find out. But I'm simply going to play again and maybe try to do things differently. And if it works, then you'll see in a while when I do that. And otherwise, I could also just look it up and not do it myself. But... I kind of really want to do it myself. And I'll be the guy to do it. I don't even know if anyone's done it. But it is the internet and it is YouTube, so I'm sure somebody has. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. To anyone or everyone that's joined me along this journey. You're why I do this, that, that that's what makes this so special, that we can have this together, share this together. It's honestly, do you know what I mean? That's fucking incredible that we can do that. It's crazy. I'm going to press E now, and I will see you guys around.